Hi guys, today I want to paint some tulips. So instead of um, using a flat brush and doing, you know, um, clearly defined petals in a bowl shape, what I wanted to do was use my round brush. This is a number five. Um, it looks like I shoplifted it. <laughs> and I really, I do like this, um, this brush quite a bit. So what I wanted to do is more of like a watercolor kind of staining effect. And I want to practice this today because for um, an order, I want to do like a large cookie like this and write the girl's name on top and then have all the tulips sort of like blowing in the wind underneath. So, <laughs> you know, once again, it looks fabulous in my head. I just have no idea if, if I'm going to be able to pull this off. So, um, what, uh, you know, I'm set up with, you know, my clean water and my palettes and, and some vodka and stuff like that. So, um, what I always say but always forget is that we have to do the pale colors at the back and the darker colors on top because that's just the way it works with the, the gel. Um, you can't um, see a lighter color on, on top of a dark color. So um, what I've done is I've just put a little bit of uh, vodka in with my golden yellow um, gel to sort of like make a bit of a wash with it and I'm gonna actually the golden yellow is quite strong so I'm just gonna tone that down a little bit and so I have my brush damp with the yellow wash and at the very very tip of the brush I want to pick up I've just picked up a tiny little dab of gel right at the tip and the rest of my brush is wet with the yellow wash so let's just put in a tulip like that and while it's still damp I'm gonna dab in a little bit more of the golden yellow Ugh, okay, that's enough. Let's do another big yellow tulip. Oh, okay, so my brush is wet with the yellow wash. I've picked up, I guess they should all sort of be like bouncing in the same direction. Or not. And just a little bit more of the straight gel to mark along the bottom of the bowl. Okay, that's this is actually very close to the effect that I want. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, so cleaning off my brush. And I, I do clean it in um, a number of different things of water. I clean it once and then I I uh, dry it and then I put it in another one and I dry it and still sometimes if you're working with a darker shade it it'll still cling to the bristles of the brush okay so we're gonna let these two guys dry completely because if I tried to put a purple here it would all bugger it up so now let's do another kind of paler shade let's do some pink and you know what like there's tons of varieties of tulips right they're not all bowls with um you know nice rounded petals there's the variety that has the the pointy petals and stuff like that so basically anything that you do is going to be fabulous <laughs> trust me on that it's what I keep telling myself all the time okay so this is a very pale pink wash a very pale pink wash and I picked up a little bit of pink gel um, at the at the tip 
so I want to do like a larger um, tulip here and just maybe add a little bit more of straight gel in the bottom just to sort of give this bleeding up uh, effect. <clears throat> and I don't want to screw it up too much, so I'm dipping my brush again in the pink. And this, let's just try something with just the straight, no, that's way too pale. Okay, boo-boo there. So let's just put on a little bit of gel and some of the pink, uh, the pink wash and some gel. Cause you wanna just, I wanna have this kind of bleeding effect you know, I was messing around with my inks. That's enough for the pink. I was using um, cold press watercolor paper and um, my uh, um, acrylic inks and doing this bleeding and the, they looked really cool. They looked really nice. So it's like how to replicate that on a cookie. Okay, so I just want to see the yellow. This guy's dry and this guy's dry. Okay, let's uh, go for a darker shade. Oh, um, you know what? Do you want to see if we can maybe put part of it? See, I've done it again. I'm telling you that the lighter colors have to go first and you can't put anything dark on top. Now I'm thinking about putting an orange one behind, which is, gosh, I'm so, you know, mentally confused. Uh, but just the same, let's give this a try with, uh, cause I do like orange. And I'm saving the purple till the end because I want the purple ones to be in the front. But let's just see if this orange, so I'm just making my orange wash. And I'm gonna pick up a little dab of the orange gel at the tip of the brush. Uh, let's, and this, this pink is still wet, but let's, okay. Let me see if I can do an orange one right here. See, I talk about all the different varieties of tulips and then I end up doing just all the same, the same variety. Okay, sorry, I'm dicking around. I just want to get like a, nice and soaked with the orange wash and then just a little bit of the gel at the tip. And put it there like that. Okay. Cleaning it off in one thing of water, cleaning it off in another. Oh, and yes, I have my script liner, and yes, I just want to do some stems on these, but let's do the purple last. And um, I've, <laughs> I've never been a fan of tulips, <laughs> and I especially am not a fan of the great big honking uh, leaves that take like forever to um, go down into the plant. Who's phoning me? I have no friends. Oh, okay, actually she's gonna leave a message, so that's, that's too bad, I can't talk to her. I'd rather talk to you guys. So I'm just um, trying to find a little empty space in my palette where I can 
get some purple wash uh, going and then I'll be able to uh, do that one. So I'm just getting my brush damp with a little bit of purple wash and then picking up and also you know like while I'm dicking around like this it gives a chance for these other colors to dry and picking up some purple gel just right at the tip and see is that, that orange is dry I want to put a purple one here but let's just this for now that's got too much um, moisture too much of the uh, the alcohol on it that's why I want to take it just let this travel a little bit. And then maybe a little less of the purple wash and some purple gel at the tip. And see if I can do this one here. That's kind of okay. And when I was messing around with my inks, I was using like one shade of ink and then a, a darker tone to sort of like emphasize the bowl and then it really kind of spread and stuff like that. How about Let's see if we can put a purple one in here. I don't know. I don't think I should. Because then the purple is going to be behind the yellow. And I'm, you know. <laughs> Lord knows I don't trust myself to get that right. Okay, so then the last thing I'm going to do is add the stems. And I'm going to start with the tulips that are already dry and just get my script liner uh, wet with the the green. And I am, like I do like the darker uh, moss green or jun juniper green. And just rolling the script liner around in the gel to get it nice and saturated. Now let's see if we can get some of these guys and what we can do is we'll go back and we'll just add a little bit more green weight to the bottom of the bulbs or the the uh, the bowls I mean this I want to leave alone right now one would come like this yeah you know I'm I'm just not a fan of those great big monster tulip leaves that would just make the bottom of the cookie look so heavy now this flower is the bowl is there and this is the bottom so the stem I come down like this sort of
Okay, oh, we've got to do the purple ones. I think this one is dry. It's dry at the bottom, anyway. And this one is pretty dry here. You go like that. Okay, so I, th I don't know, I don't want to use my script liner to do the detail at the bottom of the flowers, so I'm cleaning it off once and then twice. And then maybe just grab my spotter brush for a little bit more control, getting that damp and picking up some gel. And all I want to do is just do a very little bit of painting around the bottom of the flowers where they attach to the stem. And I'm, I'm using almost straight gel to get that nice dark. Okay, this guy I'm gonna leave for a second. Let's do This one we wouldn't see. Okay, let's do this one here. Okay, did I get everybody? Okay, good. Actually, I'm kind of happy with that. So, <laughs> now let me keep going and wreck it. Oh man. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is this is good enough, but I'm just going to use my spotter brush and maybe just define a little bit of these, the bottoms of the balls and stuff. Completely unnecessary, but you know the way I like to mess around. But actually, this is really pretty much the effect that I wanted because, as I say, what I want to do is for the name cookie, I'm going to cut one that it has a bowl and then the petal shapes at the top, do the name at, to at the top, and then have the tulips along the bottom. I'll keep you posted. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Thank you so much for your company. I hope you like these tulips. Um, see you next time.